and we have taken this quantity because we are taking carbon as we are using carbon for the definition of mole. It says that one mole is equal to one twelfth the mass of 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 atoms of carbon. Okay. So, if you are asked to find very simple question. Since mole can be used to represent anything, not just carbon atoms or any atom can be used to represent anything. It can be used to represent the cells in your body. It can be used to represent um, maybe the uh, the bacteria on your, uh, uh, maybe the bacteria on your hand or something like that. It can be used for counting. Just, it's just a number. So, if you are asked to find the value of one mole charge, what will you do? One mole charge, you see, one mole charge, it means one, the, or you can say, the charge of one mole electrons or protons, anything, because electron and proton have the same charge, you can use anything. So, one mole electrons will be 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 electrons according to the definition of mole. So, if this is the number of electrons, then what is the charge of this many number of electrons? That is the question. And what is the charge of one electron? It's 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. So, one electron has this much charge. So, these many electrons will have this much charge, just multiply it, this much coulomb and when you calculate this, it will come out to be some 96487 approximately, near above, 96487 coulomb, which can be approximated to 96500 and this is another very important constant in chemistry which is known as Faraday's constant. So, this is another constant because it's the value of one mole charge, that is the charge of one mole electrons. So, that will always remain constant and it is required when you have reactions where you have to take the number of electrons and so you need the charge which is transferred in that reaction. So, for that, if you just have the number of moles, you can multiply the number of moles with this Faraday constant to get the ready-made, you can get the charge which is transferred. Like for suppose you have uh, x plus uh, suppose 2 electrons giving x 2 minus or something like that. So, how much charge is transferred, if they ask you how much charge is transferred in this reaction. So, you have 2 moles of electrons. This is the reaction. 
I mean, it's one mole of X getting converted to one mole of X2 minus by two moles of electrons. So two moles of electrons will mean two into 96500 coulomb of charge, which is getting transferred. And with this charge, you can find the work done and then then that will go into thermodynamics. So, so this, you see how important this mole thing is in reactions. Since all the reactions, we can replace the molecule by the mole. By just multiplying the reactions with 0, 6.022 into 10 to the power 23, we can replace the molecule by the mole. So, this thing mole is a very important tool or it's like a bridge between the atomic uh, uh, or the atomic view and between the magnified view that is in case of weight and all. So, this Faraday's constant is also very important. We need it in electrochemistry a lot. So, you see, we had defined mole according to the definition of carbon atom. Now, what if we change some very basic things? If there was a question, like, find the value of the new mole If the mass of proton is reduced to half, now of course the mass of proton cannot be reduced to half, just a hypothetical question. So the mass of proton is reduced to half. So, the mass of proton is just 1 amu. The mass of proton and the mass of neutron is 1 amu. That is why the total mass gives you the mass number in terms of amu. So, generally the mass of proton is 1 amu. But in this case, the mass of the proton is reduced to half. So, you get mass of proton as 0.5 amu and the mass of neutron remains 1 amu. So, what will happen? We have taken carbon atom to define the mole. So, we have to take car carbon atom again to redefine the new mole. It contains 6 protons and 6 neutrons. So, now the mass of 6 protons is supposed to be 6 amu, but in this case it becomes 3 amu and the mass of 6 neutrons is supposed to be 6 amu and it remains 6 amu because the mass of neutron has not changed. So, the new mass, mass number of this carbon atom would be 9 amu. Okay. Just see by applying common sense unitary method 9 amu over here would be equal to any 12 amu would be equal to any by 9 into 12 and since 12 amu was the mass of one carbon atom, or you can say 12 gram was the mass of one mole carbon atom, so that is why the one mole will be now Na into 12 by 9 
which is equal to 4 by 3 n a. I'll make you understand once more because it was a little bit confusing. See here the new mass is 9 amu but we have defined the mole keeping in mind the 12 amu. So the definition of mole will remain same that will not change. It would be 12 gram of carbon atom. One mole of carbon will be 12 gram of carbon. That is how we have defined it. So, the new mole over here would be Na by the new mass of carbon atom into the old mass of carbon or into what, what we call the uh, 12 grams of carbon atom. So that is why the new mole would be 4 by 3 into Na.